What's up team? Today we're gonna be doing something super cool. We came out here to the Placerita Canyon, which is really close to Walker Ranch, which is really close to this other area called the Golden Valley Ranch. It's like an open public space you can go to. Now Placerita Canyon is really cool uh, because it was the first place that gold was discovered in California. It's actually what created the California Gold Rush, but we're not out here searching for gold, even though it looks like we are today. We're gonna be searching for something even more valuable than gold. We're gonna be searching for the world's most rare oil. It is a white oil. It is oil that right out of the ground is already clear. And supposedly, it's actually so refined that you could actually run a Model T Ford with and you could, you could actually light a lamp with. So, we're gonna come out here searching for that super rare, geologically rare oil and see if one, we can get it ourselves, and two, if we can light up a lamp and we can light that, that stuff on fire and actually make it perform like it did 100 years ago. So, let's get this searching. The story for white oil is a very intriguing one. A book published in 1900 tells of a story of two prospectors who were in search of gold in the Placerita Canyon area. After too many failed attempts searching for gold and only ending up with natural gas filled mines, they began searching for oil. With their first well, they struck something that the world has never seen. Instead of a thick black oil, their well gushed something totally different a light amber kerosene smelling liquid called white oil. 18 other wells were dug in the area looking for this extremely rare new white oil. However, the only other well to produce white oil was drilled only 100 feet from the original source by the New Century Oil Company. This second white oil producing well was on the property of a man named Frank Walker, who used the oil in the early 1900s to power his gas burning lamps. Frank's grandson, George Starbuck, claimed to use the white oil to power a Model T Ford. Tests from 1900, 1932, and 1967 have proved white oil to be 83.3% gasoline with a calculated 73 octane rating. The area where we're hiking to today is the site of the old New Century Oil Well, which supposedly still bubbles up white oil today. Okay, so we just came up on the spot. Now, the last time I was out here, it had rained a bunch. Oh, like, it, it, it had rained a lot. Um, there, was, there was much more moisture in the soil in general. And so, I kind of just looked over there and it looks like the rain has washed it out a bit. Um, I don't hear the bubbling anymore, which is kind of not good. It's not a good sign. Um, it's really dry, I, I don't know. So, we're gonna go take a look over here and I'm just super stoked that we actually, we got here. Um, it's like, it, everything looks like it's in place except for it looks like there's been a lot of erosion and there's a lot of like stuff, more stuff than there was last time. So let's take a look and let's see if we can find some of that oil. It's supposed to be right in front of this one nine. Right in front of this sign right here, there's supposed to be like a, a hole right here and it, it, it's boiling out the actual uh, that oil. So um, it's kind of a bummer. Come all the way out here, it's super hot. Don't see anything. Um, it kind of looks like down here though, if it looks, it looks like a, see how the, the color's a little bit different right here? And it smells a lot, it smells a lot more like kerosene down here. All right, so we, we saw a picture from 2012 online, the SVC website. It's basically the only place I ever found that I ever covered this white oil stuff. And so it looks like from the picture from 2012 that this is where the hole should be. So we're gonna dig down get rid of this overburden, this like this washout and see if we can get directly to that to the source of this uh, this little wow even from digging right there it smells I think we're on something. I'm gonna spend about an hour here. Well, we're already kind of hitting it. <laughs> Smells like kerosene. It's really starting to smell. Do you hear it? I hear it. I hear it. I hear it bubbling up. That's crazy. We've found the source. Wow. Let's keep going. Wow, there's so much of it, I like, can't even. Oh wow, here it comes. <laughs> 
our well. Um, looks like it's actually filling up down there. So I'm gonna try to take this cup, fill up as much as I possibly can of liquid down in there. It might be water, might be oil, I'm not sure. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it into here. I mean, it's like, I mean, it smells so rich. It's like, I wonder if I could like, oh yeah, look, I could just pour it. Wow, so that little sample down there was so rich with that oil. That it's like, oh, it even feels oily. Wow. All right, do you guys see this? This little layer right here, this layer that's not mixing with this down here. So this, this kerosene layer, this white oil, this is a non-polar molecule. Water is a po polar molecule, and so they won't mix. Literally, have you heard the saying, oil and water? That's what's happening. So right there, that's our white oil. Now we took that right out of the ground. That looks pretty clear to me, considering the fact no refining process has been done. No crude, nada. That came right out of the ground. Wow, you can just see it right on the surface. Look at that. Incredible. Now a lot of this is water, but we'll be able to see it separate. I'm looking right at the surface of this, and you can see that it's oil right on the surface. It's got a nice little sheen to it. I can't believe it. We actually found the source, like the, the, the source of the white oil. I'm, I'm so excited. This is like, this is perfect. Now we should have tons of material to work with here. This is, this is great news, great news. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this hole back up and leave it just the way we found it. We're gonna hike on out of here. Now, the next step is gonna be taking this disgusting muddy water and refining it down so I can get it just to where the white oil. Now, the whole point of this is to show you guys that like the white oil comes directly out of the ground like this. The only problem is that we had to go through all this like disgusting, you know, mud and stuff. So um, we're not gonna be doing any like real refining like what they do with crude oil. Um, we're literally just gonna be doing some like f like filtering process of our own, kind of just like I'm gonna be washing that with water. I'm gonna be separating the two. So we're gonna be doing that in the next video. Let me know in the comment section below. Were you super stoked that we found some of the most rare oil on the entire planet, this white oil? Let me know in the comment section below too. Have you ever even heard of white oil? Did you even know this existed? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys really soon.